Hi, I'm here at Vegan Gastronomy. And while we often train chefs that are home chefs, we also train people who work in very large commercial applications like hotels. So we work and train people to make things from scratch, but when we're in the hotel and in the commercial space, oftentimes we're making dishes that have products that are ready off the shelf and can be quick and easily made so you can get dishes from the kitchen onto the table quickly. I'm gonna draw your attention to one of those products right now. These are chicken strips. Very easily used, they're already pre-cooked. They, they can be reheated and I'm gonna show you how to put them into this dish today. They come in small cut up sizes and they're very versatile. Oh, and I forgot to mention, these are 100% vegan or plant-based. No chicken was used in here. Completely vegan, all plant-based. I'm making a dish today called captive slay. I'm sure I'm not saying that properly, but it translates to headman's whip, and it's a very popular Czech dish. This is a really hearty dish that can either be made from pork or chicken typically. But in this one, we're gonna be using a chicken that's of course plant-based. It's served throughout the year and it can be made, it's often typically served over rice, pasta, potatoes, anything to make a really hearty meal. And the basics are, there are some peppers in here. Now you can use a traditional red pepper, but I'm actually using already roasted red pepper, so it's even easier because they come straight out of a jar. There is a little bit of spice to this dish. I think that maybe Czech people are a little spicier. We are using a, some chili sauce as well as some Worcestershire. And you wanna make sure, because Worcestershire typically is not vegan. So when you're making this, you wanna make sure that you use vegan Worcestershire because traditional Worcestershire has anchovies in it. And then we're gonna be, this is a creamy tomato sauce. So we're gonna be adding some plant milk. Traditionally, it would just be regular cow milk, but we are gonna be utilizing, this is a completely unsweetened soy milk. You can use any plant milk you like, almonds, soy, cashew. You wanna use a mild milk that has a very, very, it really has as little flavor as possible because we're not trying to add any flavor to the dish. We're really just trying to make it very creamy and hearty. What I love about this dish is it's using some really basic ingredients, but in a novel way. A lot of times people want to put everything in and do this with pasta, but this is some unique really ingredients used in a novel way for a really filling dish. So these are very basic or staple ingredients that every restaurant kitchen will have. Just basic oil, onions, garlic, salt and pepper. Once again, I have these peppers. This Worcestershire is a little bit unique. And then we're using ketchup as well as chili paste and of course milk. So nothing unique, nothing out of the ordinary, just that we're putting these together in a unique, in a unique way for a very hearty yet traditional Czech dish. So I just sauteed off my onions and garlic. Now I'm popping in my peppers, that Worcestershire. And I'm gonna put in my chicken. What I love about this product, it already has some grill marks on it, so it already has some coloring on the outside. So it's so ready to go. These do come frozen. They're very, they are pre-cooked, so they're very, very easy to work with. And it's a great size. They can just be eaten in, you can cut them easily to, for bite size. Also, this product is fabulous because it has the same protein as conventional chicken. This dish is really flavorful because it has a combination of the tomato, but also with the milk, it's really a creamy tomato sauce. So it's extreme, it's a combination or a blend of things that are really popular. Tomato sauce is so loved the world over. 
And then creamy sauces are very hearty and very comforting. So this is a combination thereof. Now remember, with this product, you want to bring this back up to temperature, about 60 or 70 degrees Celsius. You don't want to cook it too much because that's going to change the texture of it. So that's the proper temperature. And here I just have some plain rice. I'm just going to be pouring this on top. This is such a creamy, hearty, easy dish. I'm going to be making literally hundreds, maybe thousands of videos like these with this product to show you how versatile, easy, and quick this can be. And here is, I'm gonna mess this up, the Katu Slay.